Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I recently started a few of my rats on antibiotics for respiratory issues. A few months ago I had a pretty big myco flare up in my mischief and long story short the vet didn't have them treated for long enough so a few of them are flaring up again right now. You always want to make sure your vet treats your rats for a minimum of three weeks, three to four weeks. Most will only prescribe meds for two weeks and that's just really not long enough to get rid of the infection completely and your rats will flare up again in the next few months. So I thought I'd just give you guys some details about my process for starting meds. So first you can just see me getting the supplies I need out of my first aid kit. I'm getting my med and dosage guide, my bowl to help me weigh the rats with, of course the medications, I'm putting them on doxycycline and enrofloxacin. And then I need some syringes, so I'm just getting two one mil syringes, some airtight containers, and then some baby food to mix it in. This one's banana. So now I'm just starting the process of weighing my rats and it's important to weigh your rats right before you give them meds even if you've weighed them recently because doses are based on weight and it's very important to get an accurate dose. You should also be weighing your rats periodically throughout their treatment period because their weights can fluctuate. And right now I'm just weighing each of my rats and writing down their weights on a piece of paper. And you should weigh in grams because that's what most dosage charts use. So now I'm just looking in my dosage charts which are printed out for me and I'm writing down the accurate doses next to the rat's weights. And you can find these doses from a Facebook group called Real Rat Lovers Want to Know, and it's made up of vets who will give you med and dosing information. Now I'm just flipping to the other medication and writing those doses down also. So now I'm just laying out all my materials so I can start with the medications. So first I'm just labeling my two airtight containers with some Sharpie and I'm labeling one for each of the meds. So now I'm just shaking up the Doxy because it's supposed to be shaken well before opening and now I'm opening up the syringes. And now I'm labeling the syringes because you shouldn't be using one syringe for two different meds because you really don't want them to be mixed together in the bottle. So what I'm doing is taking two pieces of black Gorilla Tape and putting one on the Doxy syringe and one on the Doxy container so I know that they match. And now I'm drawing up two milliliters, well two one mil syringes of the Doxy and putting it in a separate airtight container and I'm doing the same with the other medication and this is just because if I have a separate smaller supply of medications if it were to get spilled or contaminated with the other medication it would be ruined and that wouldn't be a big deal 
because my bigger, expensive bottle of medication would still be okay. So now I'm just starting mixing the meds. So I'm getting some banana baby food into my little mixing area. And this first med mixing is for Pippa. And I'm putting in her dose of Enro. And then also her dose of Doxy. And then I'm just mixing this together. And here she is eating it. And I have them eat in a separate play cage just so none of the other rats in the cage who aren't getting medicated manage to eat any of the medication. Because they will steal it from each other. So now I'm just doing the same for Humphrey. And here he is eating it. And then I'm doing the exact same thing for Gus. And here's Gus eating his meds. So now I'm putting the baby food back in the fridge so I can use it again tomorrow. And I'm washing off the spoons, the mixing area, and the syringes with hot water. The easiest way to rinse out syringes is just to draw some water into them and then push it out. And then when you leave them out to dry, you should leave them open. Now I'm just putting back all my materials into an organized spot. And I like to store the medications in a cool, dark place. And this obviously doesn't have to do with the meds, but then I'm giving everyone a Cheerio. Or two Cheerios, I guess. <laughs> So as always, thank you for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.